Yo, yo, what's up everyone? In this video, we are gonna be talking about logical and comparison operators. So we're just gonna start with a clean slate here, no code, don't worry about anything else from the previous videos. So what exactly is the purpose of these things? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about first, but before we do that, you know what you need to do? You need to check out our sponsor, monday.com. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, let's talk about logical and comparison operators. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating an application where you have to guess a password and you have to be over the age of 12 to get access to our application. We can do that with a complex if statement. So it's gonna look something like this. Here's the structure, and then we're gonna have one expression and then another expression. So we're gonna put two expressions inside of this if statement. Before we make it too intense, let's just start with one expression in here. We're just gonna see if the person is over the age of 12. So what we're gonna do is we're going to ask the person their age. Oh, typing, I can't do it. Awesome, and then we're going to take this input and we're going to store it in a variable. So we need int age and set that equal to console.read. So we're gonna do read line. All right, so this returns a string and we need to change that to an integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do int 32.parse and pass this in as an argument. The parse is going to take a string and try to convert it to an integer, and now it's going to let us compile. Then in here, we can use our first comparison operator by saying if age is greater than 12. And then in here we can say, you're at least a teenager. All right, let's run this. Yo noob, what's your age? Dog, I'm 14. And we get that welcome message. So this operator here is the greater than operator. It's one of many comparison operators. Here are some of the others. We could have less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Now this one's interesting, you might not be used to seeing it like this. In math class, it might be this sign with a line underneath of it, but in computers, this is how you would say less than or equal to. And then lastly, there's the equal to operator. So we're just gonna stick with what we had, greater than, but we're also going to ask for a password, and this is where logical operators come in. Because what I wanna do is basically say, and, Dang it. So what I wanna do now is say, and you have the correct password. And is going to only evaluate this entire thing to true if both of them evaluate to true. So what we need to do is we need to ask for a password. And this is going to be a string, and we need to compare this to an actual password, so you can either store that in a variable or just use a string constant in the comparison. That's what we're gonna use. So what I mean by that is we just say, and password is equal to, and here's where we store the actual password. Now obviously, you might not want to hard code a password in code. If you need to use some kind of password, you can get it from a database or from some kind of configuration file. But anytime you hard code things, you can't change it easily and it's also a security issue if you upload it into like GitHub as a public repository. So basically what I'm saying is, don't do this, but it works for this situation. <laughs> Man, I hate when people do that, but that's what I'm gonna do. So that's our super secure password. All right, let's give it a go. Um, 14. And the password is password123. Awesome, and it works. Now other than the and operator, there is the or operator, which means either of them can be true. So you use what's known as a pipe for those. It's right above the enter key, and you put two of them. Now only one of these has to be true. So if we, if we run this again, and this time we say we're 11, but we have the correct password, it's still gonna work. The last operator I wanted to talk to you guys about is the not operator, which will actually invert something. So for example, we could invert this here by putting the whole thing in parentheses and prefixing it with an exclamation mark. So now, if this evaluates to true, this will actually flip it. So instead of greater than 12, it would be less than or equal to 12. So yeah, you could use the logical operator or you could just change this, but you might see that logical operator come up in various situations. Now there is one more operator I wanted to talk to you guys about and that's actually the not equal to operator. So if you wanted to see if something was equal but you actually wanted to flip it, instead of using the logical operator on the entire expression, you can just use an, an exclamation mark equals. So now we're saying as long as the password is not equal to password123, then you're good. 
So yeah, it can take a lot of time to get used to all of these. Mainly just go through some practice and see if things evaluate to true or false and if this code is executed. And remember, you can always use else statements to see if they evaluate to false, if that helps you guys. So that's all I got for you guys for logical and comparison operators. This video was kind of terrible. I apologize, but I'm not really sorry. <laughs> all right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to be talking about something fun. So I'll see you then.